decided to take action in regards to anti-idling when we uh, uh, realized that uh, there's a huge savings uh, not only in fuel costs to our equipment but uh, also in uh, the maintenance costs. We also felt that it was a very important uh, endeavor to uh, recognize that this would have a huge effect on our environment and uh, we decided to go ahead and try and educate more people along with our company uh, to recognize this uh, important uh, environmental issue. Some of the actions we've uh, taken were uh, to uh, increase signage at all of our sites. Uh, we've also uh, uh, partnered with a few of our uh, community uh, members uh, in, uh, at schools and local businesses uh, to educate uh, as many people as possible. Uh, I think when uh, people start uh, realizing the, the money involved, that's, that's always the one that, you know, hit the pocketbook first. But also uh, in regards to uh, little things like school buses at schools, exhaust coming off the buses, you know, it, it stays at a lower level and children at a certain height, they breathe it in more so than anyone else. So, And we've had uh, great support from the local community. Uh, everyone seems to be, uh, you know, anxious to get involved with it and uh, that part of it's been great. I think uh, a lot of other companies should follow suit in that uh, it's going to save them money, it's going to improve on our environment and uh, all in all it's just good for everyone. You know, my whole family now, because I talk about it, they're on board with it and they talk to their friends about it so it's kind of like a domino effect where it's, it's spreading. The benefit that we see is, is uh, everyone buying into uh, the environmental side of it uh, uh, at home and at work. You know, they, they, uh, they recognize the costs and the, the damage it's doing to our environment so it's, uh, it's nice to see that everybody's uh, getting involved with it.